You are in a moment when you can choose what this unprecedented time for the pandemic generation will mean to you. It's just been a really hard year for everyone. And so I think we easily forget that students and families are still going through struggles. As counselors, we work in three domains, the academic domain, the college and career domain, and the social emotional domain. We spend a lot of time really at both ends of high school, right? Helping those incoming ninth graders get acclimated to high school and understand what it's all about, earning credits and all that kind of fun stuff. And then students on their way out as well. We spend a lot of time helping them figure out what's next in life. I became a counselor to really support youth. My passion is really around supporting the mental health of our students and definitely those students that are more at risk or have um, challenges both at school and at home are really what I'm passionate about doing. School districts across the county will close on Monday to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. This is a critical new phase for California. It's totaling up to 30 school districts that will be closing, and that includes charter and private schools. And today, students were asked to pack up their backpacks, their school supplies and books to head home. It was a little shocking. Um, none of us have ever been through a pandemic before and didn't quite know the scale. Um, of what this would turn into. And so I remember a distinct moment on campus where we were saying goodbye to certain teachers and having that moment of realization that this may be the last time that we would see them for the rest of the school year. It kind of took all of us a little bit by surprise, but there was also, I think, a little bit of us similar to students of this idea of an extended spring break. You know, that always sounds fun, but when things started to settle in and the reality of it really hit, um, it was kind of this moment of, well, what are we gonna do? Um, I'd say we've definitely seen an increase in mental health issues. I think the isolation at home has been really hard on students, um, especially if they don't have as much support at home. And I think as a counseling team, we were just very concerned for the welfare of our students, um, especially those who we knew are just home wasn't the best place to be always. Not having that opportunity anymore to be here with us and, and have the supports that we try to put in place for students here, I think definitely contributed to that. School was a refuge, because I think that school is a refuge for a lot of students. We were all kind of waiting for answers from the district as well. Um, we oftentimes don't know much more than what families know. We're still in that, I think, crisis mode, right? Where we really don't know, uh, can't project to the future. We're, we're taking hearing about things one day at a time. We are anticipating we would stay at at least the same level, if not more in person. So we do have that in the back of our minds as we plan for the future. I think for our students um, in a regular school year, they're managing six classes, sometimes seven. The quarter system has broken that up for students and had them focus on less at a time. And I think that was crucial in a time where they were doing the majority of the work on their own. So the idea was to allow students to focus on less in hopes that they would be more successful. I think our heart still hurts for our our distance learners, you know, like it's hard not to to worry about them. And that's I think one of the things as counselors that we struggle with is trying to get to all of those students in the distance learning environment. I think there have been some elements of distance learning that have um, created new avenues for us to connect with students. I would say how to connect with us as counselors hopefully will become easier. I know we've had numerous one-on-one -on -one Zooms with students. Um, you know, phone calls constantly. We have two awesome academic advisors in this office that also support that. We made lots and lots of phone calls home just even to see like, hey, are you still coming to Valhalla? We were fortunate enough to be able to hire Ms. Defoni this year, who's excellent um, technology wise. I came on um, as someone who was also kind of tech savvy. I got hired and had immediately been given responsibility of uh, updating our website. It's just continuous outreach and I think that's that's hard but it's the work that we have to do if we're going to try to to support those students since they're they're not here on campus. There's so many stories um, but especially as a as a new school counselor you know they tell me like I'm not going to forget this and you know you've really you've really changed my life. So one of my um, great successes I think this year is in working with students who didn't have a lot of support at home, but through some of our extended opportunities, we were able to help them through that process. You know, coming from a country that was in the middle of war when they were kids and finding a way to this country and being able to provide that support for students and seeing them get into such incredible universities and coming alongside them to help them with that process has been 
um, a great honor for me. It is every year, but I think especially in a time of COVID, it's been a particular honor. There's, there's students doing really well. Like there's um, students learning new things about themselves. So I guess those conversations have been awesome, you know, finding new talents like sewing or cooking. Some of my more recent success stories is with the seniors, just getting the calls or the emails or the visits in. Like I got into Long Beach, like I got into NYU, I mean, that's huge. I, I've had a number of students that I can speak about their success throughout this year, but I think one that really stands out to me is um, a young lady who had to really step away from her academics to support her family. Um, and so, being able to help a student through that, um, it just impacts me as a counselor just kind of confirms that like I'm doing the right thing because throughout this process, throughout this, this year, um, I feel like we've always, we've always been second guessing ourselves and trying to determine if we're doing the right things. 